Hello and welcome to the Burning Bush Podcast. This is Tyler Hurst, and I'm not going to make a joke about this being episode 17 and being nearly being legal in all 50 states. Right. Anyway, in this episode, we talk about cannabis and sports, specifically basketball and tennis, and Casey's experience playing football with a bunch of stoners in Weed, California. And there's no puns there. He actually did all that. So he's going to tell us all about that starting right about now. Hello. Uh, so this may make it. If it does, my name's Tyler. I am here again with uh, Casey Swain. Casey, who are you? What do you do? Uh, freelance writer for the Willamette Week, bud tender, uh, storyteller, and uh, just overall joker. Cool, man. Uh, Casey is here. We are at his place. Uh, we have had some Nahalem Nirvana. We have had some Bubble Hash from What the Farm. We have had some Keef from all from my grinder from all the Cultivation Classic entries. Uh, we have talked earlier about judging, and then we talked about sampling. Uh, we will. Um, you can hear about those in a different episode, but today we are back to talk about Casey and his stories. Oh. So Casey has um, Casey's already told a story about uh, meeting his not wife on a bus. Uh, he wanders around a lot. Uh, what's Stunned. your story about? Uh, what's your story about this time? Give me a, give me a preview. All right, this one is about smoking weed in college while okay. playing football at the College of the Siskiyous. Wait, okay, so this is smoking weed while in weed. In weed. Okay. Yes, we're okay. back to some more uh, college football and in weed California stories. Okay. Excuse me. In the Siskiyous. In the Siskiyous mountain range. High desert. Anyway. Also microclimate. <laughs> yeah. Growing cannabis. Oh, yeah. there's. We definitely had a lot of good weed. That was a common theme in weed California. Like, it. it's so fitting of the name. It's ridiculous. This... Story starts game week uh, against Butte College. Can you give me a, a, can you give me a, a, a time frame? A this reference? is uh, fall 2008. 2008. Uh, week, I believe, three or four in the season. So we're, we're getting in there. Okay, so this is September? <clears throat> this is around September. It's still, late September, early October. Still pretty warm out. Okay. Games are uh, in the afternoon, daytime. Um, so we're going to play Butte College out at Chico, California. Okay. Um, so the infamous Aaron Rodgers' younger brother is the quarterback. Yep, his name is. Uh, I think it's like Chad Rodgers. Of course, his name's Chad Rodgers. Something like Jesus. that. I don't know. I'm butchering Jeez, it. It doesn't terrible. matter. I just know it was Aaron Rodgers' little brother. Okay, looked just like him. Just like, but him. more like a scarecrow. Like he was really like a skinny, skinny, skinny version okay. of Aaron Rodgers. So you could probably beat up if you wanted to. Yeah, but tall. And good arm, whatever. Okay. So. One of the better quarterbacks in uh, Northern California, uh, JC football, no questions asked. So we're putting in a, do, a new defense uh, to stop them. I'm playing defense at this time. I'm a starting outside linebacker. And we're putting in a new defense that's going to be called Check Weed. Check Weed. Check Weed wasn't just for the name of the city or school. Set then. one, set two, Check Weed. Wait, that's defense. Never mind. Defense. <laughs> so uh, we're learning this new defensive scheme. Coach says Check Weed, and Susie says that kind of loses his handle of practice. It becomes a very funny thing when we're trying to be serious, and <laughs> that's where it all starts. Okay. So we're putting Ready. in. We're Down. Putting, <laughs> hold, 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 hold. Sorry, I. You're just envisioning what, what what's doing. happening. Oh, sorry, so you guys are ready. So you guys are in practice still. We're in practice. practice this still. is the beginning of practice. We're walking through Kay. the formation. Just Kay. walking through. Yep. Well, a lot of my teammates are a little mentally um, under capacity. I'll say is naturally as for it as a college student would be. Yeah, with weed or not. With weed, okay. Weed. But the particular player we're going to talk about had a lot, maybe a little bit too much weed in his career okay. of playing football. Maybe uh, he had weed in his system right then? He could have. I wouldn't okay. doubt it. We definitely weed in his system. In his, oh, a in his system, test. but like a stone blood to the gills okay. in this moment, very well could have been. Okay. So you're at, you're at practice, late September. <laughs> yeah. You're at a walkthrough, week four, installing a defense called Check Weed. And check there's weed. some guy. So... so Coaches going over everything very quickly. 
and he's expecting us all to be paying attention and be able to like regurgitate this information back to him like what our assignment is and he goes through it and first person he calls on is this dude will call him bob and he's like bob are you paying attention and like nothing he's just silent just a dead fucking look and everybody dead laughs look. everybody laughs uh, like whatever and he's like yo bob this is my coach yo yeah bob <laughs> And he's like, got his attention, yeah, okay. everybody's attention, we're quit laughing. All right. It's like, hey man, did you know it's Puff Puff Pass? And Bob says, without any hesitation, I don't pass, coach. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when everybody exploded with laughter. Except for my coach. Yeah. <laughs> he was fucking pissed and he like goes off he just like goes off on bob after this and is yelling at him but it's funny like in a comical way like telling him like maybe you should think about smoking less fucking weed if you're gonna play on this team and be a starter reaming his ass about being stoned and not be able to remember the fucking plays and it was so weird and surreal that your my coach is being so open about this but like it might sound weird to other people that and inappropriate and stuff but it was no joke and no like understatement that probably 70 percent of the team was smoking weed in some capacity at practice at practice at, at home after practice after before practice. games oh Jesus. yeah it was it happened and that was like my first experience with um people like athletes using cannabis wouldn't not it? just a party, but like to, for like enhancing their output, so to say, so, or just like taking the well, edge well, off. So, so you, so you're, so you're saying that weed helps stuff like football and that uh, taking pregame. I'm, I'm talking about taking postgame because I definitely understand that. Yeah, but, that makes sense. So, but pregame, even if you're, I mean, even that fast pace, because I've noticed definitely, I've you know I vape before running all last month. Yes. Um, well, I still do, but mm-hmm. um, I, I mean, fast sports, I was high playing tennis once, and I was terrible at tennis because yeah. I couldn't keep up with the ball because I was too high, mm-hmm. but I can run really well. So football seems more like tennis than it does running, even though it includes running because mm-hmm. you have to worry about reacting quickly. Oh, yeah. That, like, reaction time, yeah. it really depends on what you're smoking. Okay. It depends on the athlete. Okay. And not, I'm not saying every guy was doing it before. No, I'm just, oh, no, I'm just as, curious. Yeah, but a good chunk. And I always thought that was when I really was started getting interested in it because these guys, some of these guys are all conference people. Yeah. And great athletes. Yeah. And they were doing this. And I was, at first I wanted to get mad and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Just yeah. like any of the coaches would. But then I took a step back. Like, I was like, no, really, like, what is this about? Because... I would understand, like, that reaction of somebody drinking before a game yeah. or, so, like, somebody with a some kind of issue. But, like, with the weed, like, there's something more. Like, they're okay. trying to find some kind of benefit. Okay. Chill the nerves at the very least. Okay. And or heighten that awareness or just take the edge off. Oh, hey, hey, if it works, it yeah, works. Right? Just, uh, that, that, uh, very that's not something that per- that works for me personally, yeah, yeah. Um, even if it is a, sort of a hyped up um you know, it is a super heady mm-hmm. uh, or super, uh, you know, uh, 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 invigorating euphoric uh, strain. I just um, uh, uh, the the point of. I mean, usually, I guess the sports that require uh, f- more fluid movement are great: skiing and running and yoga mm-hmm. and hiking and all that stuff. But the quick, the quick stopping and the quick reaction sports for me would be a little bit tougher yeah. um, to play while well high. Um, I wouldn't really worry about being dangerous, um, no. but uh, just a little tougher. And honestly, not as fun, because when you get high, you kind of like things to slow down a little bit. Yeah, and if you have the wrong one, which at this time, like, there yeah. was no fucking Leafly or anything like that. These guys were just getting whatever was the dankest fucking weed, and, like, sometimes it helped them. And other times, they forgot every fucking play, and I would look at them like... Are you watching the game or are you playing? Oh, so there are so there are some <laughs> yeah. times oh, where yeah. okay, it happened a lot in our secondary. We had sometimes they got the good weed, sometimes they got the bad weed. 
and I love him to death, but that was the problem. Jesus. Yeah. Um, all right, and so you were probably getting that from where over? I mean, grow like grown locally. Yeah. Okay. And I there was um, rumblings of from Florida through the mail and things like that. But you guys were nothing. Northern, you guys were in Northern California. And somebody was getting it through the mail. Yeah. In Florida. Wow. Um, yeah, but it's funny. but this was all like almost like ten years ago. Yeah. And so there's some, no, or it's eight, nine years. Yeah, two thousand like nine. Well, this is my second year. I'm to, like okay. dating back to my first year in two thousand seven. Okay. okay. Yeah, but still, very like we're getting good weed from all angles oh, yeah. there. And okay, so it did. It. So so there are times of during games you'd be like, yeah, okay, you gotta smoke less, bro. Yeah, I was curious about that just because. Or you switch yeah. it up as far. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm not against that, but that yeah. that seems like it would affect athletic performance, especially yeah. if working you're on. out. I had a buddy before our workouts. Like that was his thing. That's how he'd wake up and get ready to fucking. Well, that's something you'll use caffeine. And, and he would. He, he was one of the hardest working yeah. motherfuckers I knew. But he would always take a fucking blast before he came into the weight room. Yeah, yeah that makes sense to me too, because that's a one person yeah. doing a mostly a fluid motion. I mean, working out is a fluid, supposed to yeah. be fluid anyway. Um, so yeah, that doesn't surprise me all that much. But uh, yeah, it's weird to weird to think about people playing pl- playing high. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely be high after the game. But, uh, but playing high was uh, that'd be tough. Um, interesting. It's an interesting thing to think about. And of course, you're not you're not reacting the same way oh, with football. You're not like swinging and hitting something. But, mm-hmm. um, I mean, I think baseball and tennis. Hitting a ball would probably be impossible. High. Uh, hitting Possibly, a ball well, but depends on. Well, I guess my interest on, yeah. in with baseball is pitching, because mm-hmm. like a lot of like nerves can really fuck you up and mm-hmm. if you can bring that shit down. Mm-hmm. Coming from experience, like I think it would be kind of fun to try it out and see if it would work how, how many sports have you played high um definitely played basketball like pick up basketball and it was fun yeah. um played drunk once i hated it it was a terrible <sighs> i've never done that it's terrible god um, it's horrible i played like frisbee i've never played baseball i want to try that like i'm really interested in trying to play in like some kind of like a sandlot game or something like play wiffle pitch ball. Play uh, wiffle ball. yeah i love to pitch because I'm inspired. Okay, I'll take like lock it down some more. So I'm totally inspired by the Pittsburgh Pirate pitcher from the '70s that threw the no hitter, fucking Doc Ellis threw the no hitter on acid. Oh yeah. But up to that point, he had tried all kinds of different <laughs> shit about trying to calm his nerves mm-hmm. and like lock in to certain things and pitching and stuff and like i got it like when i watched that documentary I was like whoa man like that makes a lot of sense like he wasn't doing it just to be fucked up and like people didn't understand that so same kind of thing with my my football dudes cool. i think they're okay. trying the same thing which is without, well, that's without fine, yeah. any knowledge yeah so yeah i mean yeah i mean it's fine to experiment but you have to yeah. have some sort of uh control control or positive or yeah some sort of fallback plan it mm-hmm. doesn't always work all that well, so. <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I mean, I haven't, I've only, yeah, I've only had, um, I've only been, I mean, I've been sort of high playing a bunch of sports, but only, but only super high, uh, running, uh, yeah. Basketball was fun. Like, basketball was fun. It also was harder. I could see, like, passing wise, I felt like I was, like, more in tune with, like, that kind of shit. Oh, the flow of the game? For sure. Yeah, I guess. And shooting, like, like, the fucking hoop looked. Yeah. A lot bigger, you know, like your focus gets kind of wonky and shit, but your awareness heightens, so like you pick up on, yeah. yeah, I don't know, it's it's very interesting how that all works. I'm surprised that my lungs haven't been affected more by, uh, oh yeah, no problem with burning, that. but, um, no problem. I mean, I can tell if I do a really hard workout after a day of, of, of burning stuff, I mean, I can definitely tell, I can feel it, but only like right away. It mm-hmm. hasn't been, it hasn't been a big deal. Uh, so, uh, that's it that's for story. today. Uh, that's case over the no pass guy. Then we also, um, you know, talk about weed or being high. We'll play sports. We'll talk more about that later. Peace out. Party. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of me and Casey talk about cannabis. Uh, it's super awesome to have so many people interested in what we're talking about. Thank you again and peace out.